Hi, I'm Rich here at New Life Scientific. And as you know, we do a lot of Virtus machines here. And I just want to point out how quick and easy this is to change the oil on these. Um, I've got uh, everything set up and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of changing the oil actually and what we use here and what you possibly could too. But um, right now we've got uh, the uh, Edixon uh, direct drive vacuum pump oil that we use in these because we use the Arcatel pumps. And uh, of course we've got, you know, down here the spout with the plug that we'll be removing when we're adding. And down here, of course, we've got the pump um, with the quick valve um, open here. But the pump is nice and warm. It's actually running right now. We're going to shut it off before we change it. But I also want to point out a really nice vacuum for fluids. This is the Mighty Vac. This is what we use for evacuations and, and sucking up all the oil in different projects. But works really great for these too. But it's just a fluid evacuation um, that we hook up and, and we pump the handle and it just creates a vacuum and sucks the oil right in there. Um, literally no, no messes or anything you got to deal with. So the first thing we want to do is just simply shut the pump off. Like I said, it's still running. So now the vacuum is shut off. It's nice and warm. And we're simply just going to take the hose. And I've got a rubber um, coupler that, that I'll just slide right over the valve here. And it fits really nice. Don't re I don't need any kind of clamps or anything. It's just uh, a silicon piece that works really great for, um, for hooking those up. I'll bring this around here. And you can see I'm hooked up here. But it's just as simple as um, opening up the valve here. You can see the oil running out. It's coming in here. But I'm just going to give it some pumps. And it's creating a vacuum now. You can see down here the oil is coming all the way out. It's almost pure out already. So we're already just sucking in air now. So super quick. I'll just give it a couple more pumps and kind of get all those residue and dribbling area. So it looks pretty good. And then we just close off the valve here, lock it. It has a little locking mechanism that we want to just put in there. And when I, as I'm unplugging this, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a vacuum so that it can kind of just suck all my residue. Now, isn't that beautiful? There's absolutely no oil, nothing. It's just sucked it right into the tube. You know, I can't stand oil drips and everything coming in. So, so just a really awesome way to change the oil. And I'll just put this here and put it out of the way here. And then up here, we just have the, the plug that we're just taking out. Just pull it out. And this is a new jug here, so not to uh, break the seal on it. Now I get over on this side here, and we're just going to dump the new oil in. And just you just want to be careful that you're not dumping it too quick where it overflows the funnel here. But you're just going to watch the gauge down there as we're filling it. And it's the sight glass on the pump on the front. And it takes a little bit before it even starts registering. But uh, another thing you can do too, what we do on some of our other vacuum pumps that I have in-house, is I actually put a, a pump dispenser on these so that I don't even have to pour them like this. I just pump it in with a little pump dispenser, um, which it's not really necessary because this is so easy. You can see now we're registering on the sight glass with the oil. And we're wanting to come up into the marks there. And we got that next mark there. And you can see we're just about there. That's, that's about where we want to be. Just put a little bit more in. Oh, I'm going to put a little more in yet. Right in there. That's where I like it. I just want to point out, I did not spill any oil. You know, there's 
just a really clean, quick way. And then you just take your plug, put it back in, and you're done. And you can just fire up the vacuum pump and continue on. So like I said, um, how easy does it get? That's how easy it is. And very convenient, especially for those of you that are using a lot of harsh chemicals that you're evaporating and you need to constantly change that oil to conserve your pump. So um, thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.